Considered one of the world's strongest fishing knots, the Polara knot is truly one of the best. And most importantly, one of the easiest knots to tie. And it's got some far-ranging applications for not only fishing, but also everyday life. It's my favorite knot to use when your fingers are freezing cold because it doesn't require that much dexterity. And it's pretty forgiving if your fingers slip while you're trying to tie it. Now, right before I get into the many cool uses for this knot, let's learn how to tie it step by step so you could follow along. The first step is passing a loop through the eye of your hook or pushing one end through and then back through to create that loop. Now pull to give it a bit of length because we're gonna fold it across our main line. Pass that loop through the circle we created. This makes a simple overhand knot. And now we're gonna pass our hook through the center of that loop, just like this. And just before you tighten it up, you wanna wet your line just to minimize any possible friction and flip that loop up over the knot and now just pull in opposite directions. With the tag end, we could cut it off or tie another hook to it but pull tight and you have your polymer knot. Now when using different types of lines, you'll find that some may cinch up a little bit better than others. So here's a few tips to help you through that. Some will tighten perfectly like this, while others might end up like this. And some lines like fluorocarbon are even known to cut itself in the process. So to fix this, make sure to slowly dress the knot by flipping this loop upwards. And then as you're tightening it, just go carefully and make sure that loop stays there. If you're using braided lines, some people opt to tie a double overhand, which is really just an extra wrap here, and that just adds extra strength. Now, one of the coolest uses for this knot, aside from just having it as an end knot, is the ability to tie multiple items in line, and it could be as simple as leaving a longer tag end and attaching your hardware there. Now, if you need to convert it back, you could just cut the tag end off at any point. Now, in my opinion, the very best use of this knot is to add a midline item when you already have an established line. And for this, you don't have to have access to the tag end. So you could see its use in everyday life and in camping if you want to add, let's say, a carabiner midline. Now, how to tie this is we take a bite from our line, which is just folding it down, and pass that little loop through the eye of your weight or carabiner or whatever you're using, pull your line through, and repeat the same process as before. We're doing the overhand knot, getting that loop and passing your weight through it, and now pulling to tighten. And the same could be applied when camping or outdoors, string an item to a line. Basically, you create that loop, fold it over, pass your item through, and then tighten the line. It's a great way to add a midline attachment. Now there's probably many, many more uses for this knot, but I do think it's one of the best fishing and general knots you should know. I'm DJ with The Bear Essentials, and thanks for stopping by. If you like this style tutorial, I have more videos just like this.